the war on plastic pollution could have a new weapon. Scientists in Britain have solved the structure of a plastic eating enzyme and improved on it. This image of the enzyme was captured by the diamond light source synchrotron near Oxford with x-rays billions of times more powerful than the sun. We've taken that protein, that enzyme, fired incredibly powerful x-rays at it in this beamline and that's able, been able, uh, we've been able to see the 3D structure, every single atom, uh, down to incredible detail. And that tells us how it works, which is really important. The team believes the enzyme could chomp through millions of tonnes of plastic waste, turning it back into its basic building blocks. So what we've done is using the structure that we solved here, we've tweaked the enzyme. We actually thought we were making the enzyme slower. Uh, by, by changing a few uh, amino acids, but actually we've made it faster. We've made an improved version of the enzyme, better than the natural one already. That's really exciting because that means that there is potential to optimise this enzyme even further. Polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, used in bottles is its favourite snack. This is a speeded up view of it turning a plastic bottle back into its raw material in four days magnified 3,000 times. So just in the same way that uh, washing powder detergents were developed and made more stable, been able to work at high temperatures, low temperatures, we're going to do the same with this enzyme and hopefully create something that we can use on an industrial scale. While some independent researchers have urged caution, McGeehan believes further tweaks to the enzyme could speed up the process and make it economically viable.